The head of the family here is Ekwao. That's the oldest among them here. That's the father of the group. And then we have Peter. Peter also over there. And then we have Lumba. Definitely education is key to everything we're doing because to conserve these animals in the long term we really need people who, who understand how these monkeys live, what, why they're threatened, um, why they're important, what role do they play in the ecosystem. It's not simply about the monkeys but in general it's about the wild forests of Ghana. We saw that there was the need to work together to rehabilitate some of these endangered species. As a result of using our forest for cultivation of cocoa, we have lost most of the habitat for such species. And therefore, the primary population in the country is at a very low level. WAPCA has been very strong in training our staff in the field. We still have good collaboration, and I see that's a very good venture. It's a monkey. He's eating fast so he can save that food for later. Do you know the name of this monkey? What, what do you call it? Mango bee, very good. You're doing very well. So the, the young male baby in this group, how is he getting on? Sometimes as it plays with Peter or Numba, it falls and the alpha male tries to protect it. What I'm seeing so far in most of the manga piece, especially um, Kiko's group, is normal behavior. The first step towards reintroducing this species is uh, a semi-free enclosure, which um, is an enclosure in their natural habitat, a much bigger area than they have here, but still fenced so that they're protected from hunters or predators coming in, but also big enough that they can forage on wild foods, climb trees, and get used to their natural habitat before, in the very long term, you can think of fully reintroducing them.
fire fool. Why don't you know it goes out? No, I'll go. The story is about two communities. One is preserving their forest. The other one are not, and the animals in the forest start dying. The reason why we did this is to encourage people to protect their forest and the animals. This is the starting waypoint code. Please remember to write the time. This whole area um, is farmland, and then the forest boundary is on my left here, about 500 meters. 20, 30 years ago, all this place was forest. But um, people came in and bought the land for farming activities, and they've managed to clear the whole forest, and this is how they've left it. This is a fruit um, eaten by a monkey, and I think um, it's a manga bay. Most of the times they walk on the ground and feed on the fruit that drop from the trees, while the other monkeys are eating up on the canopy. I trained them on how to detect um, the primates, and also how to use the GPS and the compass. We all work together, we spread out and we do surveys. Anytime they hear a call, um, they record it and then they try and follow the call and see if they can see the monkeys and hound them. Mwana sisi ano mama kasi mama nchi abuabi nchi sisi amu ba makao na yoku ayo ba ayi forest na mama nchi sisi ani nchi mwana bi sisi abu amu ba. Give me the name of a primate. I'll start from you. Chimpanzee. Mona monk. Colomod. Magadi. We are going to try and see how the number has to be drastically. And if we don't take care and we don't protect primates like the Mona, Spot Nose, Black and White Colobus, they move in multi species groups. Who can give me one reason why all these monkeys move together? <laughs> Yes, for protection and for food, every monkey has a way of communicating. Who can demonstrate how a mona monkey calls? And who can demonstrate the manga bay call? Speed one. You can find the mona, manga bay, Diana, black and white colobus, all of them moving together. And if we don't take care and we don't protect them well, they might go extinct. What Car have done a lot concerning the monkeys. They have let us to know a lot about the different types of monkeys, how important of the monkeys in the forest.
monkeys can easily cross the border even by swimming. We are currently standing in Ghana and behind us you have the Tano River and the other side of the Tano River is Cote d'Ivoire. In this area there is a forest called the Tanwe Forest which houses the most endangered primate species in West Africa but the Tanwe Forest is not a protected area. It completely belongs to the communities living around the forest. That's why we've been working so far with these communities. Even if we do conservation concentrated on the peoples living in the Ivorian site, many other people living in the Ghanaian site can easily cross the river to come hunting and to come cutting trees, things like this. So it is important that we have a collaboration with partners working in Ghana with these communities. And I think Wafka was the ideal partner for us. One after the other, you take your time. The children are from Amokwa, which is a village just outside of the park. The local communities around the forest are very reliant on the natural resources. What are the things that we get from the forest? The benefits we derive from the forest, yes. We get medicine. We get timber. It promotes tourism. Rainfall. She said we get rainfall. Clap for her. It's important, especially for local people, to, to understand why, why is the forest here? Why, why is it protected by Wildlife Division? Why do we think it's important? This monkey you see here is the one we call Mangabe. It is an endangered primate, like the Diana. This forest is their natural habitat. This is where they can be found. That's why we've been advocating that we have to protect the forest so that the monkeys too will be protected. The children are going to be the future leaders. They should be educated on the forest, how to keep or how to conserve it. I appreciate what the Wafka is going to do because they are giving educations to Ghanaians through their children. Most of their parents are farmers. When they go, they are going to educate their parents on how to conserve the forest for their future. All the oxygen and others, we get them from the forest and rainfall too, we get food from the forest. So if you don't get, protect the forest, you will lose all these things. The preferred area for the semi-free facility is here in Ancasa, just in the center. It's called Enquanta, and there are a number of sites within that that have been proposed as suitable. We hope to start construction within the next year. An animal that has been captive, it's very difficult to, to take them to the forest and expect them to survive on their own when they've been used to humans and used to being fed every day. So a semi-free facility is something in between. It's both allowing them to get used to the natural environment, but still giving them some level of protection. 